Hi, my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers, the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group, the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group, and the Junk Journal and Paper Crafts Facebook group. Now, I also have the Sweet Pea Papers Kofi shop, and that's at ko-fi.com forward slash Sweet Pea Papers, and that's where you'll find the tutorial on how to make this really cute little Christmas book. Now, this is a flip through of the Christmas Forest Cuties, which is obviously this book, and obviously it's a flip through. I got the flip through board out. Um, and so that way you can see what types of things that we're doing in the membership area at the Kofi shop. Now, like I said, the flip through doesn't cost you anything, it's here on YouTube. Um, but like, uh, if you just go over to the Kofi shop, you can find out about the different membership levels. There's a uh, bronze, silver, and gold so far. And there's also journals for sale and um, journal, journal tutorials for sale, individual tutorials, and all kinds of other fun stuff. There's a couple of freebies over there too. Okay, so like I said, this is called Christmas Forest Cuties. And on the cover, it's got two layers. There's the little Christmas background layer and then there's the the main cover area, the image. Then on the cover are these two little images and I don't know if you can tell or not. Maybe you can see the shadows. There you go, but they're raised up. They're like they're like chipboard, but I made the chipboard myself. Um, these are paper images, um, ephemera and I glued, I cut out the shape in a uh, chipboard and then I glued these to the cutout shapes and uh, made the little chipboard pieces myself. So the spine is here, it's an elastic. I opted for no eyelets. I just used the smaller sized hole. I just used the smaller sized hole and the elastic, plus I didn't have any white ones. On the back is this cute image with the uh, Christmas ornaments and another uh, chipboard piece that I made. You can see the lace flops over the side and it kind of covers the uh, signature. And you open it and it says, may your heart this Christmas day be filled with joy and cheer and nothing give you cause to grieve throughout the coming year. It's forced cuties. Then um, I love this lace. It's the same lace that's on the cover. And this is a card that comes out. So cute. I keep saying that through the whole tutorial too. It was a joke was to see how many times I said the word cute. Uh, the charm here is a snowflake and then my little silver handmade. It says handmade on a hand. Then uh, this opens this way to this little bit of a writing area and this really cute image. And it says Merry Christmas obviously and it has that lace under a different lace underneath it. Then it also opens this way. The card, writing card. And then since this is a flip flop, you can take this and pull it open, but then pull the whole thing open like so. Okay, and I love this image. All the papers are sparkly. You just can't see it on camera. Um, they've all been sprayed individually and all the ephemera too um, with my homemade um, acrylic paint, metallic acrylic paint and alcohol spray that I make. You can look on my YouTube channel and there's a um, video from gosh I think it's 2021 on how I make my homemade alcohol inks and sprays and you can look that up to see how I do it page two. This is the same as the um, cover 
and then there's just a little image and it says celebrate on a little chipboard that I made and there's a little card now this is a smaller Victoria Designs kit so there's only three backing papers and then there's a little uh, add-on kit that goes with it that gives you two more so most of my cards are going to be on this paper and one other then on this one here it's really nice little envelope now you'll notice I don't take this out because it's in the lace so I don't want to pull this out I just pull the card out from under the little decorative paper clip and you've got some writing area with these cute little forest cuties then you have this envelope I put two little buttons on there and the brown uh, trim then I covered the entire envelope, the flaps and everything. And then inside is another writing card. And they're all sparkly. Everything has been sprayed. To give it a Christmas cheer. Now how is that not going in there? There we go. There it goes. But this is, I heard the bells on Christmas Day, the song. And that goes back on there. On the next page is just this adorable image. So cute. <laughs> this page is kind of interesting. This belly band is made out of the uh, paper that was left over when I cut the envelope flaps out. And it left this scrap. And I was looking at it in my scrap pile, and I'm like, you know, man, I think I can do something with that. What could I do with that? So I took the whole piece. I didn't cut it up or anything. This is what it looked like when I got done cutting the envelopes. And I glued it on the page as a belly band, and I added some lace and a couple of buttons. Whoops, I think I have to pull it. And the writing card is really cute. You got your little Santa bear. Never mess with the playing with the writing cards when you're on camera. Then on this page, the um, the you have some writing area, but you've got your your Christmas map, and then it opens like this, and you have your writing card that matches the little guy. It's so cute. You leave it open like that so you can see the little guys on the paper. This is one of the other backing papers that comes with the kit or the add-on. I'm not sure which. On this side here, there's a little card with a candy cane charm. This has warm winter wishes. Then you open this this way. You got the little squirrel. Oh. It's the same little guy I didn't even realize. And then we've got our Merry Christmas picture. And these are all held by magnets or hook and loop. This one is hook and loop. I think mainly because I forgot to put the magnet in. <laughs> oh well. There's another page here because I can see the lace. Oh, it's the center, and um, the center of the signature says Merry Christmas, my dear, and then as you can tell by the tabs, it opens this way and this way, and when you open it up, it opens up into this. So on this side, you have a pocket and a card and then a round card. The round card, there's a round one on the other side, are from the two CD uh, covers that we made and these are from the circles that we cut out from the paper uh, to uh, cover the CD uh, uh, sleeves. Couldn't think of the word. So then you get some writing area here in the center then on this side over here is another pocket that looks like a little um, file folder. And you have a card here made out of these stamps. I just didn't cut them apart. And then another circle card. And 
I put lace on the outsides of most of the pages, if not all, most of the pages. As long as the flip out would let me, you know, put lace on it. On this side, I love this page. These are three little cards or three little tags and they're held on by brads as you can see and they all move, all of them move and then when you move them to the side then you see this little snowman down there. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of doing that with those three little tags but they just look like they needed to hang somewhere. On this side you have a writing area and the cutest little, it's a tree that's a house. It's a tree house. Um, and it's got little doors and steps and little animals and all kinds of stuff on it. Then this is a flip up held by a hook and loop. Here's some more of that lace. And you flip it up. And you have this cute little belly band. And then a writing card made with that one uh, backing paper that I like so much that looks like the Christmas that's the Christmas bulbs and here's the other little uh, part of the little uh, tree only all the little animals have come outside and they're sitting on their little porches and there's lace on this side down here too on this page there's a acetate belly band, and there's a card, and there's also this little flip up little card that you can write on. It's got cute little images on both sides. Hmm. I guess I'll put him on the front. You can switch him around. Then this side is just a writing page. On this side is a um, envelope. Same again. Just take it out from under the paper clip. The paper clips will come out. It's just kind of hard to get them back on through the lace. So it's easier to just take the um, envelope or whatever it is, uh, whatever it happens to be out from under the paper clip. And it's got a tag. It's got that little tree on it. it looks like a little piece of paper out of a notebook. And on the back side, it has this image. This side is an acetate pocket. It says Joy to the World. And then when you take the card out, I almost covered him with the Joy to the World. I didn't realize I put it on with the card in. But there's a cute little bear right there. Some writing area. There's lots of writing area in this um, little journal. You wouldn't think a one little single signature journal would have so much writing space, but you could keep track of one year's Christmas in this and um, write everything that happened that Christmas. You could put little pictures, little photographs in here. Um, this right here, this area here would be perfect, a perfect area for a photograph. Oh, this is Christmas cake recipe. You could follow that and actually make a whole Christmas cake. But anyway, so you could do whatever you wanted with this little journal. You can just keep it and look at it, which is probably what I would do because I don't write in my journals. Or you could, like I said, make it a working journal and keep track of, you know, the Christmas for uh, 2024. On the back page is this expandable pocket. I love putting these on the back pages for the extra ephemera and such and this one opens really big. This is two pieces of lace with buttons on them, two little hook and loop fasteners, and then this envelope or this pocket opens up this wide for you to put things in. You just hook it back up. And there you go. Kind of looks like a pair of suspenders. And here's the image on the on the back side of the the inner cover. Some little dust bunnies going there, and I just made it. And then here's the back cover again. And the spine and the front cover. 
So that's it for our little forest cuties or our uh, winter forest, Christmas forest cuties. Oh my goodness. And um, hopefully you'll join us over at the Kofi shop and uh, we have a good time over there. You get two tutorials uh, a month free that that are is not um, added to any of the YouTube channels or anything like that. You can only get them there and um, there's other benefits too. Certain levels of membership come with a store-wide discount as well even on journals. So you might want to check it out. Okay? Thank you very much for watching the flip through and I will see you in the next tutorial series, the next Kofi series, or the next flip through. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.